Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Enter the Ether, the podcast all about the upcoming third-person MOBA ethereal clash of souls. I'm your host, Mangoose Doubtfire. Joining me, as always, is my friend and co-host, Jelly Knees. How you doing, Jelly? How's your week been? I'm doing great, Mangoose. You know, there was a drive-by fruiting earlier, and, you know, it just it caught me off guard, I guess. So, But I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Happy to be back. We took last week off. But, you know, we're here and there we were a ton of updates. So that's great. Yeah, we took last week off because there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. And then they just hit us with everything all at once. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to catch up on what happened last week, all, the, all they really had was they had an update. Of what They were talking about their structures, their towers, spires and elders, which uh, we already kind of knew about because they were in the... Um, the extra life demo like the elders were and i mm-hmm. guess i think that was a tower that we were that we were fighting but um so that wasn't huge news about the only thing is it was confirmed in the spanish speaking part of their discord that the spires will respawn which mm-hmm. um you and i kind of disagreed on on whether that's a good thing or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I think Spire's respawning is perfectly acceptable, but you were in the camp of less so. Yeah, I did a YouTube poll to find out how, how everybody thought about that. I am definitely, definitely in the minority for <laughs> not having them respawn ever. Most people either think they should just naturally respawn or there should be some sort of conditions met before they respawn. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm... <sighs> It's, I think it's because I'm more of a macro player. Like I don't, I don't have the, I never, never have had the Twitch reflexes necessary to play like just in your face heroes. That's why I play support. I like to play the macro game with lane pushes and everything. And I like to make that decision to like start a fight over here so that this lane will push their inhibitor. And I want that inhibitor to stay down so that I could make other plans, you know, as we're going. But, uh, I mean, you're a jungler. You're more of a Twitch reflex kind of guy. I can see why that would be be a good comeback mechanic for for, 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 uh, for guys like you, I would think. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm firmly in the camp that they should respawn. And we talked about it briefly, uh, but it's mainly because of if, for whatever reason, my team got behind, we lost one bad fight. That We've been ahead the whole game, but we lost one bad fight and lost our inhibitors. That shouldn't end the game for us. Right. That shouldn't be the thing that, like, forever now, that lane will be a problem. I'm okay with the the timer being very long on it, but at least if I know that, like, okay, in six minutes, my inhibitor will respawn, and I basically get another chance to push back or come back into the game, I think is a great way to have it, instead of having to constantly worry about that lane the rest of the game, however long it may go. If they get the inhibitor in 20 minutes or whatever it is, right? Yeah. And and the game goes 45 minutes long, I don't want to have to spend 25 minutes being like, okay, is that lane still okay? Yep, we're good, right? Okay, cool, next. <laughs> like, <laughs> So, uh, I mean, yeah, I get that. I, I understand the arguments for um, inhibs or spires or whatever you want to call them, respawning. I totally understand it. I just don't, I just personally, it's not not for me. Not for me. Yeah, well, the internet told you you're wrong, Mangoose. Yes, <laughs> popular Clearly, opinion. internet has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so after that, um, huge changes. Jelly knees, you want to get into it? Uh, yeah, everything's different. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean that lightly. Uh, so we've been getting the blog posts on their website for 12 weeks now, I think at this point, um, of the various systems and things. And on Friday, they pulled down the whole discord, like deleted all the channels out of it, just left like a well, general discussion channel that everybody was freaking out about and then <laughs> updated it that project ember was in effect whatever that was for the structures aspires and elders blog post there was like a teaser about something called project ember but nobody mm. knew what it was uh turns out it was some grand up update scheme from ug first off was the discord being completely revamped um, if you haven't gone to the Discord already, I highly suggest you do. There's a lot of new channels in there, um, but also you need to basically react to the rules post, make kind of a I understand type reaction to be able to see all of the things that are getting posted in the Discord. So about a thousand people have done so so far, but I know that there's at least probably three times that many people that were in the Discord prior. So if you haven't done that, go do that. That's huge. 
because you won't get any announcements or anything until you do. Right. So that's really, really, really important. But also the website got completely overhauled and we got information about the more about the myths, more about the universe, uh, all of the items, or at least the majority of the items, 145 are on there with the stats and passives and actives and build paths and the whole nine yards. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, the marksman ability got changed finally that instead of the selected target and they take more damage from you, you instead get a free roaming ward that will travel around a set distance, um, which I think is a great change. I'm really glad to yeah. see that, especially for the marksman class. I mean, yeah, there's there's a ton of information in there. Oh, yeah, there's seen. so many new things that they got going on with the website. So you, you guys, uh, UndyingGames.com, you can check that out. A lot of lore related stuff. A lot of this, it's a lot of stuff that we already kind of knew, but there is some new stuff. I, the main thing is probably those items, like you were talking about. Like, I didn't expect that. Like, I expected that they would redo the website at some point in time. I did not think that they were going to put all of their items in a searchable database on the website. Um, and there, I mean, there's been a whole like group of us that are making builds already based off the fact that we've <laughs> yeah. seen all these items. I created a whole Excel sheet that we can plug in and see all the stats and see the breakdowns of the passives and all that kind of stuff. Nice. So yeah, that's all in the discord. So if you want to come build with us in the discord item builds tab, hit us up. We're all happily happy to build with you. <laughs> I did not know you guys were doing that. We to, oh my God, dude. It's been a crazy we'll couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I know people were talking about building ADC Kalia all the time. People are talking about that. Yep. I think somebody made the build for her already too. I think that's the thing. <laughs> We don't even know what she does. It doesn't matter, man. <laughs> <It> builds. <laughs> uh, what was your What was your favorite thing? Your favorite new thing on the website? I think I'd have to say the items. Yeah. I mean, I put I put several hours into making that Excel spreadsheet to make it really easy for us to make builds and all of that kind of stuff. But I think being able to start theory crafting about like, okay, if it's nighttime, these items will actually be better than these items or what the, the different scenarios are. There are a lot of items that share similar functionality to items from other MOBAs. Yeah. Um, I recognize mostly League of Legends ones, but that's what I play. But I know that they exist in other forms in Smite and um, other MOBAs as well. So I, but yeah, the item system I think is the biggest one for me to go off of there. Yeah, what about was, you? There was one of the items I saw. It was some kind of rifle, I think, but it operated a lot like Stinger Boost did in Paragon, which was one of my favorite cards ever. Even if it wasn't practical to use Stinger Boost, I was put like Stinger Boost Crunch, Stinger Boost Fay. I was I was the Stinger Boost guy. I love that card, and it seems like they have something very similar where after you use an ability, you your next basic attack deals um, extra magic damage. So yeah, cool stuff there. Um, I think my favorite thing, if I had to pinpoint one thing out of the entire website, was that Marina skin. They, if you look at the myths, you, they, you get to see, like, we got to see, like, little clips of some of the skins for some of the myths. Um, now we got to see them all. They're all amazing. They're all really cool. But that Marina mm -hmm. skin was just fire. Smokestack yeah. horizon, oh. baby. It was so easily, good. Easily the best skin out of them all. You think and so? I love Cyber Malaya, but Death Blossom Marina is such a good like it looks so clean the outfit is incredible like the color scheme is amazing like it just is so so good by itself it is on point it is on point just mm. yeah absolutely the other <laughs> thing is the in that same page where you see the skins they have voice lines for yes. everybody uh kai told me that they're about 70 per myth on the website but there are about 140 or more already in the game that they have recorded for each myth so there's two times as many voice lines as we can already see uh the one i gotta call out one in particular because it's been making me laugh so hard over the last couple days there's in iran's voice lines that we already heard he has a joke where <laughs> i'm gonna kill everything except for dogs right great that's fine whatever he goes he has a second one that instead of dogs he says except for bob and he knows what he did and i'm just sitting there like who is bob why does bob have the respect of iran Dogs and Bob. Those are the only two things that Iran will spare. Everything else can die. Next what myth did Bob do? confirmed, Bob. 
Oh my god. I, I just want Bob as a myth now. He's playing Iran's out. uncle. Oh, we've got Iran, Talos, Malaya, and Bob. Like it's just <laughs> <laughs> it'd be incredible. Short for Bobbert. Yeah, there <laughs> I haven't I haven't like looked I haven't listened to all of the voice lines yet. Um the that's one complaint I have about the website. It loads kind of slow. Does it load slow for you too? It does. I don't know if that's an optimization thing or if that's server issues or what that is. But yeah, it seems like every time you go to a new page, it just kind of chugs for a second before you actually are able to see whatever's going on. Yeah. Uh, it might just be how much stuff is on here. Mm -hmm. Like everything's done really cool. Like if you go to the realms in the codex, it's not like just a picture of each realm. Like it's a constellation around this like central swirl and then if you click on the various planets, and apparently you were absolutely right in your tinfoilness when you were talking about this, the I swirling was. spheres with the, in their phase one with the website being. Oh, being the places. Yeah. Being oh, the yeah. Places. No, yeah. Uh, Mangoose doubts me at this point. <laughs> we, we've been right so many times over I, and over again. I doubt and everything doesn't believe you me. say. <laughs> at what, this point. One of these times you're going to be wrong and I'm going to be like, ha ha. I win. Even in the Discord, I was saying something today, and one guy was, like, batting against me. I was like, do you really doubt me at this point? Like, I'm, like, five <laughs> for five on these theories. Just trust that I have some idea, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so, so Jelly was right about the orbs, but uh, the, the orbs, like, if you click on, like, they're, they're obviously planets in a constellation. It uh, It's the various worlds that the myths come from, and then you can see a little blurb, a little lore about each um each myth and then if you just if you just go straight to the universe of a uh, of ethereal it tells you kind of why they're there why they're fighting the whole background of of this universe that we're going to be playing in and that's another huge thing that we got was a lot of lore not not all the lore but we got quite a bit more lore than we had before so i didn't something we realized some people going through the website today realized is that actually if you look at the myths and the lore on, on their page, there is a paragraph for each myth that kind of tells you what their abilities are. Yeah, It's not direct about it. It's not saying like Malaya's Q is this. But it's pretty like when Malaya dashes through the map, she's going to be able to hunt down her prey and gain <laughs> more economy for it. It's like, okay, you're <laughs> telling me without telling me. Like... <laughs> Something Sounds like that you passive, recognize maybe. very quickly is like that's a skill. That's a yeah. Skill. I mean, that's there's a skill. there's going to be a lot of that. I would think. I would mm -hmm. hope. So that's uh. So when's when's that video coming out, Jelly? When you going? <laughs> At this point, I've got like fifty videos that I have to make about the website. That I'm just like, what? This is a video now. Now there's, this is a video. Now this is a video. <laughs> a lot going on here. Uh, the classes we we already knew about, but they did update the class icons, which are. Mm -hmm. Fucking oh, mental incredible. now. Like, incredible. so good. I thought they looked good before. Like, just basic icons. Yeah, but now they're too. just... And they just, like, double down on how good they look. Like, it's just... The detail in them now is insane. Yeah. And you can go through... Um, something and... they did change that we haven't... We didn't know about before is that the Archmage's teleportation sigils are only usable by the Archmage's, mm -hmm. not by the entire team. Whereas before they didn't, I think they said it was usable by everybody, but I think that's, it's changed in between now. It is just for them because otherwise it is too broken, which yeah. makes way more sense to me. Yeah. Was, if everybody can walk through a portal, then why wouldn't I said you? that a long time ago. That would pretty much lock in that you have to have an arc mage to mm -hmm. do anything in the game. And if you had two, people would just be showing up all over the <laughs> damn place. You wouldn't know what was, <laughs> what was going on. And I haven't even started to like dig into the code of the website to see if I can find anything either. This is just <laughs> all on the surface. I still have, I'm going to have videos to make and then I'll find more stuff and find more videos yep. to make. It's, oh dude, it's going to be insane. And if you're just catching up on Ethereal, if you go to the news section of it, it shows you all the blogs that we've been talking about for the past, what'd you say, like 12 weeks or something like that? 12 weeks, yeah. And uh, yeah, you can get caught up real quick on everything, on everything they've been putting out about Ethereal. Um, it kind of makes me think though where do we go from here like mm -hmm. like what's next what's the next update because i don't think they're going to be announcing the alpha anytime soon it doesn't seem that way to me 
I, because I agree. The overall feeling hasn't been that it's we're at that point yet. Yeah. But the way that this was was dropped out um, feels like we're building toward something bigger right. and, and sooner than later as well. And I would think that um, they're, they're, they're going to have like a, a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo or some shit like that. That's going to have to be at least a month before the alpha. So yep. we're going to have to see a gameplay trailer. We're going to have to see an announcement for whatever crowdfunding they're going to do. And then we'll get the, you know, along with that, we'll probably get the announcement for when the alpha is going to be. But I don't, I don't know. Um, this is pretty huge news. I don't know how they're going to follow this up. I, don't, I think Fun Fact Friday might be done for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. And I mean, they, they were saying quarter one, 2021 before, right. When they, when they kind of shifted it. And if that's true, quarter one, there's not, there's only two months left of quarter one. Right. Um, so you kind of, things are going to have to start happening very, very quickly for that to hold accurate. So we'll have to wait and see in that regard to what, what's coming next or soon. I hope they do. I'm losing patience, man. I'm losing patience. I've been, <laughs> I've been sticking up for Ethereal. I've, I've, they've, they've been a, uh, I've been a lot nicer to Undying Games than I am to most people. Uh, like if you've ever watched any of my personal content, you know that I've got a pretty, a pretty sharp tongue, and it may be all in jest, but I still cut to the bone with a lot of these companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how long I can start, I can spare Undying Games when uh, I've been waiting for this alpha forever. Like when we started Enter the Ether, I thought that we would be talking gameplay a long time ago. Like I thought that the game was about to, to drop, like the alpha announce was about to drop. And that's why, why we started it when we did. But, uh, yeah, at this, we, at this point we're what is this? 17 ETE 17. We're 17 weeks through and we've taken two weeks off. So 19 weeks since the start of ETE that we're still trying to wait for the game. Yeah. I hope it's, it's soon. Crazy. Cause a lot of people are getting antsy. A lot of people get mm -hmm. antsy. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's, it's so up in the air right now for everything. And this will, this will definitely tide us over for now. This, uh, this huge website update. Like I said, I haven't even gone through all the voice lines yet. I need, I really want to, I need to, I'll probably do that tonight. Right now Very I'm important. pulling up that Marina skin because it is fantastic. <laughs> she had a lot of cool voice lines and everything. I'm starting to starting to lean more towards Marina than than Malaya. Malaya's always been my boo, but uh might be Marina now. Well, from what we were looking at today, Marina's gonna have crowd control, CC or crowd control, um, a heal, a some kind of movement ability, it sounds like. Like in water, she'll move faster or something like that. Uh I mean it's gonna be and she'll be have damage as well that she can. What do they say? She's going to be a damage support at the same time as all of these other things. Oh, okay. So, uh, or something among those lines. You like look on the website to see for sure. But that's the rough. And I was like, okay, like she's <laughs> gonna do a lot of stuff. Then, <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she should be really cool. Her voice line. Let's do a lot of her voice lines. And yeah, you you definitely get listening to some of those a little inference as far as what the abilities are going to be. Absolutely. All right. So, um, I think that's about all I had to talk about. I uh, there, there's so, there's a lot that we, we, if, if we were to go through every single thing today, we would be here for hours upon oh, hours and we're not, gonna, <laughs> we're not going to do that to ourselves. We're not going to do that to you. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted major you wanted to hit on jelly? I think we've hit on the, the biggest things so far. We'll probably do more in-depth looks at a lot of these things over the coming weeks. This is kind of more a general website update. Just, yeah, just letting you guys know you need to go check out the website if you haven't already. You know, I think I caught the website update exactly as it happened. Oh? Yeah, on accident because I was doing a um an update on all the games and I was going back to make sure that I had gotten everything for this month from Ethereal. And I tried to load up the website and everything was pink and kind of broken. <laughs> so then like I reloaded and it was like the whole 404 not found. So I went Weird. back 
and and when I went back, it was the new website. <laughs> I typed in Discord. I was like, hey, what's up with the website? That's funny. I, I happened to like go on probably minutes after you did that. I happened to go on there and and open the website because I was looking for something else for a video. And it was different. I was like, oh, what? What is this? Okay. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like we both did the same thing. Looking for stuff for a video. And it's like, what the shit? <laughs> what happened? I remember I typed into the Discord in all caps. I was like, the site's changed. And everyone's like, what do you mean? I'm like, go look. <laughs> I don't know. Time to explain. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. I think that's going to be it for this week. Jelly, you got anything to plug? Uh, videos that well, probably a lot of them i don't know how many we're gonna post this week but as many as i can get out for sure yeah if you guys are watching this on my channel then head over to jelly knees channel it's always linked in the description below and uh drop them a sub it's free man thanks fun what about you, man? Too. what do you have to plug uh i did another state of the games video where i covered updates for everything um I think probably the biggest thing I would like people to know out of that is King's Hunt is having another open alpha in February, starting on the 3rd. So if you guys are interested in playing uh, that game, which is kind of a MOBA tower defense mixture sort of thing, uh, come out and play that with us. With Will. Are you going to be playing it, Jelly? Yeah, I'll probably be playing it all this week once yeah, it yeah, comes yeah. out. So Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday on through Sunday. I'll probably be playing it every day. So, so the time you're watching this, tomorrow... Yeah, come come play with come play some uh, tomorrow some Kings Hunt with us. My Twitch or YouTube, I'll be on. All you gotta do is go on Steam. Uh, there's gonna be a demo button. You hit that demo. It's completely free. You download it and you play the game. So um, yeah, that's that's what I'm plugging for this week. Um, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, just go to the website, guys. Just go to the website, check it out. Hopefully, we'll know something soon about the alpha, so that we can all enter the ether. Go ahead and talk for a second, just so I can make sure the levels are the same. Uh, I am now talking for a second and looking at my levels to make sure that the same as yours. Well, that's perfect, because I'm checking now if my levels are the same <laughs> as your levels were five seconds ago when you were talking to see if the levels were the same. <laughs> Excellent. Mangoo!